and this is the continuation of our um, tracing cartoon tutorial and this is part two uh, we have a background we have Ellie about to tell a dirty joke we like the background and now we'll be drawing the drawer for this needless to say we'll be adding a first we select the color to have the right kind of gray with the eyedropper tool and let's uh, uh, create a rectangle now uh, eventually we'll be adding a shadow effect on this um, drawer so to add any effect we have to convert this shape into a movie clip a, otherwise we won't apply the desired effect in this case a drop shadow now once it's a movie clip we double click on the shape on the movie clip which is a symbol to edit inside of the symbol now we'll be drawing another rectangle in order to make the top of the drawer the technique we've seen before we'll be stretching a rectangle using the rectangle tool and using the wireframe view we'll align the edges of the shape with the original one so the traced image is identical all right looks to us that we have uh, a pretty good draw top over here we can always adjust and we are set to go ahead and add another layer inside of the symbol and now for the drawer we will be selecting a stroke which is black but the fill is going to be neutral that means no color and again we'll be stretching a rectangle actually we'll be stretching several of them and since I'm not so sure that each one of the three drawers are identical we will be making one by one using the rectangle code tool magnification is on so we can uh, be precise accurate on every detail and we will be making a, a rectangle for each one of the three drawers we have now for the handles we're pretty sure that they are identical so the strategy will be to create one single perfect handle uh, select it all copy it all and then paste one by one and that creates a sense of uh, pattern it's nicer for the eyes now uh, I'll actually remind that uh, my website is www.say-web.com you are welcome to visit to see other tutorials we provide it's free f-r-e-e -E double E is free and you can post questions you can also download source files a text for tutorials we did it's all included and uh, I'll be glad I'm I'm really glad when you guys come for visits all right we are cre creating the uh, um, sample the, the the master handle for our drawer and once we have it uh, ready we'll be selecting now on selecting make sure that we select the fill and the stroke the line surrounding it so we have it all selected and let's copy it and let's paste it let's paste it on the two um, outstanding rectangles at our drawing and soon we we'll have a another piece of furniture for Ellie's cartoon background after tracing and there we are it looks pretty good uh, almost identical and we created it. it was not that difficult not difficult at all and let's name the layer we are already back on the main scene we're not inside of the layer let's name the layer and there we are all right now we'll be doing that board all right there's a general rule for tracing you start with the easier 
you can always note that the cooler is far more difficult. There's uh, lines, there is colors. Uh, the board is far smaller and easier. So right now we'll be doing the, 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 the board. On the left there is a board. It's a white, blue, and red. Uh, uh, a small tip. It's very convenient to make it a, a, a symbol because it has elements. It has the grid, it has the header, it has the background, it has the the red axis. So it's going to be far easier to create a symbol and work inside of the symbol with layers. So we're creating a symbol. Needless to say, we are naming it uh, a, as a, a board and double clicking on it, I'll be editing the symbol but I'll be able to see the original symbol coming from the background uh, underneath so we can trace with far more accuracy uh, the speed is up now 300% there's a lot of technical stuff going on so I have to go in detail one by one and mainly what we'll be doing now is tracing, wireframing, checking and adjusting and over again and when if not, I'll be checking the color to make sure it's the identical color as the underneath picture using the eyedropper. Um, here we go. Again, my website is sayasay-web.com and we have a, a video blog there. With a lot of tutorials. It's free. You can download. Um, we're creating a new layer for the grid and we're trying to trace the lines just as they are, it's pretty easy just as they are on the original layer and all we have to guess is the stroke, right now it's 2 now we'll be doing the axis um, let's make sure it's the exact same color as the original axis we have on the background we took from LE Dirty Jokes and we will creating the axis we will be creating a second part a third last part of this tutorial how it created the cooler um, on the first part we showed already the final result is almost identical as the cartoon it took away um, and we'll be applying the shadow effect thanks for watching